Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sang Tarot. Hope everybody is well. I'm hoping to get the December readings done today and get them up and posted. Hopefully the power stays on and the internet stays available. Um, we're in the midst of a pretty serious windstorm right now here. Uh, so yeah, it's been knocking out power on and off all day and without power I don't have internet and you guys know the drill. So I just want to hurry up and try to get these done. So at least that is all taken care of. Virgo, we're doing you. So this reading will be for Virgo, Sun and Rising Venus for December 2021. If it resonates with you, cool. So your free will to do whatever you choose to do. The message given by the cards, if you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. But keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Friday Shine Tarot Table. Everybody is always welcome here. If you're new, think we might get along and stuff. Want to come back and hang out more often? That'd be super cool. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate you stopping by. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos be circulated to those who might need the message. Let's see if I can get another flipper. Okay. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are. Mine or somebody else's. And it is not your reading, not your story, not your message. Leave the cards on the table and walk away. Six of Wands flew out. Huh. Full reverse six of wands. I wonder what's up with that. I think I'm going to shuffle them back in real quick. In fact, I know I'm going to, but... Hesitation? I feel like somebody might be getting noticed, but there's hesitation here. We'll see if they come back out. We'll see if they come back out. One more quick shuffle. Okay, we will invoke the cards and get started. Do, 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 do. A little bit of a different angle today. I had to move a couple of things around. Da, 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 da. Okay. There we go. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for December 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Virgo to their highest possible spiritual good, put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Okay, Virgo, what's going on? Temperance and the Hierophant. Oh my, things coming together. You've been patient. Things are flowing. There's positive energy, sunshine, and rainbows. The challenge is commitment. Not calling that yet. The Hierophant's a double sided card, man. It could be commitment, it could be life lessons. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. The Devil, Ten of Cups, Prince of Cups reversed. Arr. Four of Cups, Queen of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Mmm, that's what the challenge is, commitment. In the past, could be recent, could be distant, I don't know. Possibly a cup was being contemplated. Someone wasn't seeing a cup being handed to them because they were contemplating other things. This Queen of Wands tells me there may have been conflict in the situation. Could have been some sexual tension. Ten of Pentacles, maybe someone was just trying to concentrate on work, on money. Maybe they wanted to have something to offer. They wanted stability. Wanted to be more stable. I don't know. We'll get clarifiers in a second. Going into the now, I got a double, a Ten of Cups, and a Prince of Cups reversed. I don't want to call that toxic. I'm going to throw a clarifier on it. 
could just be a Capricorn, but it is a binding connection. Happiness. Lack of communication, not taking a cup. Huh. Okay, what's the outcome? Nine of Cups. Judgment reversed. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. Huh. All right. All right, talk to me. Talk to me. Universe, Source, Spirit, Guides. Talk to me about... I want to throw one on this Hierophant. What's this Hierophant talking about? Knight of Swords. Okay. Okay. Three of Wands. Waiting on commitment. Waiting for someone to come rushing in. Maybe even waiting long enough. Possibly for some of you, you've been waiting for one thing and then something else is coming in. Let's just give me one on this devil. Give me something on this devil card. Knight of Cups upright, Tang Man reversed. There's something coming in. But you're bound to something else, you're still hung up on it. One of the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. One of the Ten of Cups. Justice, the leveling of karma, the leveling of the playing field, fairness, could be a Libra, the Ace of Cups. One on justice. Queen of Swords. Oh, shoot. Somebody's coming in with the truth. Honest conversation. Some... Something has to be cut to make things even. There is one three. <sighs> Indicative of the third party. Okay, well, this is interesting. Tens are endings, it's completions. One in the Ace of Cups. This just got interesting. Second three, three of Pentacles. Lovers, there's the choice. Oh boy. Oh boy. Something's got to get cut out. You have something new coming in. There's possibilities for foundations. But I see I see it being rejected. One on the Prince of Cups reversed. One on the Prince of Cups reversed. Thank you. Seven of Swords. Oh shoot.
King of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Okay, I'm tracking now. It's extremely interesting. Seven of Swords. It's like, that's a handsome offer, but how long are you going to hang out? Or, I want to miss King of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. They see that you're good on your own. I don't know if this is rejection so much as they're not saying anything. They see that you're good on your own. Maybe they've been watching and not saying anything, waiting for their moment. <clears throat> Maybe they're going to withdraw because they know you have a choice to make. One of the Nine of Wands. You've all, you're dealing with somebody that's been in and out. Five of Swords, standing up and doing what's best for you. Even if somebody's got to like go with their tail between their legs, you're moving forward. The outcome is your Nine Cups. Even if one gets taken away, you still got nine. You're good. You're good. One on judgment reversed. Letting go, burying it. Four pentacles reversed. Whoa, this just got weird. You're at a place of peace. Things are coming together. Maybe some of you are looking for something committed. You know what? Talk to me about this Four of Cups. I already, I know I already did this, but talk to me about this Four of Cups. Hey! Wheel of Fortune reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. Ten of Pentacles. Oh! Ho, ho. You know what? Dang, that wasn't an accident. That was supposed to happen. Let's analyze that for a second. Being handed a cup, there's something you left behind. There was something left unfinished. So you may have been still a little, been a little bit jaded about possibly a family situation. Give me one more. Give me one more. Five of, five of wands, there was conflict. There was conflict in the past. Possibly not taking this cup caused conflict. the Queen of Wands. Ooh, this got good. One on the Queen of Wands. Nine of Wands. It's a whole lot of wands. You dealing with a fire sign, Virgo? 
Queen of Cups. Self-love, self-worth, knowing what you want and going after it, standing up for yourself. Getting up to fight another day. Embracing your own cup. One of the Ten of Pentacles. Three of Cups. So another three. Yeah, there's there's more than two people involved in this for sure. Page of Swords reverse Ten of Cups. Wow, that's a game changer. I feel like for some of you, you found out that the person you were dealing with had a family and they didn't tell you. You possibly could have gotten drug into a third party situation. And then it ended. Shoot. Forced to judge all this up again. What? Can I get one? Just one? Two of Wands stuck at the crossroads. Two of Wands reversed. One more. Queen of Pentacles in the upright. King of Pentacles. Matched pair. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Someone could be owed an apology. Someone may want to come forth with an apology and they don't know how. Someone wasn't truthful. There was conflict. Finally, at a place of inner peace. You need to state your place of inner peace. Best advice from the crazy old tarot lady you're at a place of inner peace. You need to maintain that. But I think you need to be good on your own before you give and take cups from anybody. But you don't have to listen to me. I feel like whatever's coming to an ending, you need to allow it to come to an end. Ace of Cups. I welcome new love and trust what it brings. Don't look in the rearview mirror for too long. You're going to miss what's in front of you. One more. Six of Swords. I know that peaceful times will come. Will of fortune in the upright, I trust whatever the universe brings me. You're coming to a place of peace. Don't look in the rearview mirror. For too long. All right, give me a wisdom, a wisdom oracle. New life, new life. So 
soulmates and the fates. Number 39. Number 39. Do, 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 do. When spring awakens the world, joy and excitement can be felt all around and in your very core. Blossoms burst from trees overnight. Birds return home to sing their glorious song. In nature's full of promise, miracles beckon all of us. This is one of those times in your life when new ideas inspire you and new opportunities bring hope in seeing your dreams come true. All is well in your world and you have the energy you need to feel renewed. All your heart to fulfill it with enthusiasm. Let your light shine, for this is the time of good fortune. Number 41. Soulmates. You are meant to evolve and transform with the, company, with the companionship of others. Certain people enter your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. It always reciprocal experience, although the results for each of you may vary. You know these people by the strong pull drawing you toward them, and sometimes by a strong aversion to them initially. Soulmates can be friends for life, or remain in your life only for a short time. No matter what, you will be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom now. Pay attention to these people. Here are your greatest gifts. The Fates, number 17. Number 17. I love this one. The Serenity Prayer sums up the meaning of this card. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There are things in your life you will never have control over. The conditions brought on by the evolution of the collective, by nature, and by your past experiences may be faded, preordained by spirit for the greater purpose you cannot understand in this lifetime. It may not be in your cards to understand why certain events occurred, but you can accept the mystery and work with what those events and your current circumstances have to teach you. This is the wisdom contained in the serenity prayer. Let's get an Archangel Michael, friends. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Okay, we're going to take them all. Write about your thoughts and feelings. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing, and healing. Your home is protected by angels. Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage, or taxes. Somebody needed that. If you need that, take it. Shield yourself. Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle, and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me in day and night and keep my loved ones safe. Romance angels are helping you. Dear guardian angels of my soulmate, thank you for preparing my soulmate and me for love, for giving us the motivation to make healthful life changes and for arranging us to meet. Thank you for helping us recognize each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into a truly intimate relationship. Okay, Virgo friends. Thanks for coming and hanging out. 
Know that you're loved, be blessed, and I will catch you in the next. Peace, love, and light.